It seems like Cedar Point's Rougarou is always in the rumor mill about getting relocated to another Cedar Fair park. But the big question is, does it really make sense for Cedar Fair to do that? And which parks could benefit from adding a B&M floorless coaster that opened way back in 1996? Trust me now, it's creepy how good Rougarou would fit in with these parks size and location wise. Then lastly, I'm going to share my predictions with you as if this would happen or not. Welcome to Keep Riding Coasters, my name is Brandon and you're going to learn everything you ever wanted to know about these rumors and would Cedar Fair actually do this? But to start things off, let's get familiar with Rougarou. This is Cedar Point's floorless coaster but it first opened up as Mantis as a stand-up coaster. Opening at a cost of $12 million, the coaster featured stand-up trains all the way up until 2014. Rougarou features four inversions, 3,900 feet of track, a lift hill height of 145 feet, and speeds of 60 miles an hour. So why does it make sense for Cedar Point to relocate Rougarou to a different park? And let's be honest for a second, Rougarou really is a pretty good coaster. It's not great, it's not horrible, it's right there in the middle. But the problem is, you're at Cedar Point. And there's a mix of fantastic coasters, and Rougarou often just gets overlooked all the time. For example, if Rougarou was located at, let's say, Worlds of Fun, it would be a top two or three coaster at the park. Same with Carowinds, it would be a top four coaster at the park. And when we're talking about the potential removal of Rougarou, we have to talk about reliability of the ride. Because this floorless coaster seems like it hardly ever has any major downtime. And that is a huge positive for any theme park, especially one that could get this relocated ride. Also, when we're talking about the floorless aspect, that right there is huge because there really isn't that many floorless coasters around. So for marketing power, that right there is a great thing for some smaller park in the chain. And when you take a look at Rougarou's footprint, it really doesn't take up a ton of room. In fact, I pulled the measurements and Rougarou's footprint only takes up 2.5 acres. Another reason why it makes sense for Cedar Point to remove Rougarou is because this large scale coaster could really benefit another park and make Cedar Fair more money if it was located somewhere else. For example, let's take a look at King's Dominion's Dominator. This floorless coaster opened up at King's Dominion in 2008. However, it first opened up at Six Flags Ohio in 2000. And that was the first year that I was able to experience this awesome coaster and I've been in love with it ever since. But Dominator at King's Dominion is one of the park's top three most popular rides. I would argue it's even the most popular coaster among the GP. Now obviously for you and I, chances are it's not the most popular coaster for you. However, it is in my top three at King's Dominion. That's how much I love Dominator. So we have seen Cedar Fair do this before and the rewards really do outweigh the cons for relocating a coaster like Rougarou. And lastly, why does it make sense for Cedar Point to remove Rougarou? Well, if they would, just take a look at this massive plot of land that Cedar Point could build a new coaster on. Now I know that I said Rougarou takes up 2.5 acres, but there's actually some other areas of land around the ride itself where this footprint can get even larger. So that right there is a very intriguing piece. Now if you are curious to see where Rougarou ranks for me in my Cedar Point coaster rankings, then you definitely have to check out how I rank each coaster at Cedar Point in this video here. Trust me, there's quite a few shockers in how I rank the coasters at Cedar Point. But now let's talk about why it doesn't make sense for Cedar Point to remove and relocate Rougarou. And we have to start off with the coaster's age. This ride again was built in 1996 and while that doesn't seem like too long ago, Rougarou's coming up on 30 years of being in operation. So I would only give this coaster another 15 to 20 more years of operating in its current form. And what I mean by that is eventually Cedar Fair is going to have to make a decision just like Universal's done and now Alton Towers as to we need to eventually rebuild the coaster from ground up. Essentially replacing every piece of track and keeping the ride same layout that way the coaster will be a part of Cedar Point Skyline for the next 40 or 50 years even further down the road. 
And my biggest question is, would Cedar Fair be willing to do that for Rougarou and spend the money on this type of project since, in fact, it's located at Cedar Point? I think I might feel differently about it if Rougarou was located at Knott's Berry Farm, Valley Fair, or even Michigan's Adventure. Another reason why it doesn't make sense is because you can find four or five other coasters at Cedar Point that all should be removed before Rougarou is. I'm talking Iron Dragon, Course Crew, dare I say Gemini? Now I love Gemini, but let's face it, that's a huge plot of land, and of course, Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Now I might be the only one who thinks this, but for my next reason why is the placement of Rougarou. I personally feel like it's iconic. I absolutely love how close the midway gets to the ride's first drop and loop, and you have to love the fact that 75% of Rougarou's layouts over water. Another benefit of the placement of Rougarou is going over the lift hill and seeing Top Thrill 2 spike right there is going to be absolutely epic and I cannot wait to experience this view of looking up at a 420 foot tall spike. And finally, why it doesn't make sense is Rougarou's actually still very popular among the GP. It seems like this coaster always has a solid 15 to 30 minute long line every time I go to Cedar Point. So realistically, why spend the money on relocating a coaster when it's still relatively pretty popular at the park? Now before I talk about the three parks that could benefit from Rougarou, if you're looking for some cool coaster merch to wear in the parks, then be sure to check out KeepRidingCoasters.com. Now this first park's rather intriguing, Valley Fair. Now when you look at Valley Fair's aerial imagery, you instantly think there's a ton of room behind High Roller as well as Excalibur. But unfortunately those areas are prone to flooding. So sadly, I do not see any coaster being built in those areas. With that being said, this area right here appears to be owned by Valley Fair since the dorms are located right here off to the right. So I wonder if the park could extend the parking lot onto this area. That way, Rougarou could fit right here, really changing Valley Fair's skyline forever. I mean, this would dominate the park skyline as you're driving down the main road to pull in, especially when you pull into the parking tolls. Now the good news is I pulled the measurements and this is how Rougarou would realistically look in this area if it was built. So there's definitely room. Now another cool thing about this is Rougarou would actually have its own little entry plaza here extending off the steel vent in Midway. Which is another benefit because the layout of the park for Valley Fair would actually get larger as well. But most importantly, I really do like this fit and here is why. The only coaster that Valley Fair offers that flips riders upside down is Core Screw. Yes, an aero Core Screw, just like the one at Cedar Point. So this park is desperately due for a coaster that's comfortable and takes riders upside down. And while some would argue Rougarou isn't the most comfortable ride out there, it's still better than an aero Core Screw. Now this next park on my list could really benefit from any type of ride whatsoever. Michigan's Adventure. And this park here really could benefit from anything at this point. And relocating Rougarou to Michigan's Adventure would really do a lot for the park. As for placement wise, I could see it being located back by the Grand Rapids water ride as well as Thunderhawk. The only attraction that occupies this huge piece of land is the park's train ride connecting both midways. So what I would love to see is if Cedar Fair would actually make this park a full circle as far as layout goes and adding Rougarou here, that way people can access it from both sides of the park and really help make Michigan's Adventure feel more like a complete park layout wise. And when Michigan's Adventure actually gets a brand new coaster, and I do predict it's going to be coming up in the next three to four years, this is the location that I have my eyes on because it makes too much sense for the park not to build their next coaster in this vicinity. Canada's Wonderland. Now hear me out. Time Warp and Flight Deck, you got to go pack your bags, you're going to the dumpster. Once Canada's Wonderland removes both of these headache inducing machines, they will have plenty of room for Rougarou to be located on the left side of the park. Not only would this dominate this side of Canada's Wonderland, it would also give the park yet another high capacity coaster that focuses on flipping riders upside down. Now another interesting thing to note is that this amphitheater, I've heard it's gone, it's going to get removed, they never use it anymore, so eventually we will see a new coaster or a new attraction take over this space. 
But as you can see, Rougarou really does fit in perfectly here, and I really do like this fit. And I feel like Rougarou would be more beneficial at Canada's Wonderland over Cedar Point. Now this all sounds good and dandy, but would Cedar Fair actually do this? And I honestly think the only way they would do it is if they would replace the track at the same time. Now you might be thinking that would cost a ton of money and not be worth it for Cedar Fair. However, replacing all the track and some supports, while that would be very expensive, it's still going to cost the park a lot less money than it would be if it's spending all the money on a brand new coaster. I just do not see Cedar Fair relocating this coaster if it only has 10 to 15, maybe 20 years max left on its life cycle. And if they did, then I think it's going to happen over the next two to three years. I do not see Rougarou being a part of Cedar Point Skyline by the year 2050. Now that you know my thoughts about the future of Rougarou at Cedar Point, what are yours? And if you are planning a trip to Cedar Point, then you have to check out this video here because you're going to save so much time and money by watching it. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and of course, keep riding coasters.